I'm going to show you how to use the Kami extension to edit, annotate, draw on a PDF. So the first thing you have to do, have that PDF in your Google Drive, and then just open it up within Chrome. So I already have the Kami extension installed, so it's going to allow me to open with, by going up here to the top, open with, annotate with Kami. This will run the extension, open this up, and now you will see your PDF in one side of the screen and all of the tools that are available here on the left. Now anything with the little yellow lock on it just means that that's a paid version. But don't worry, just about anything you really need to do is all free, totally free. So we'll kind of explore through filling in this document here. So for example, this one's asking me to put my name in. I'd go over to text box on the left hand side, click on it. I can choose my font size and my font color. So I'm going to fill this in with blue for right now. All I have to do is click where I want that text box to be and type what I want in that box. So this first question asks me, using the text box tool, type your favorite sweet treat. So I'm going to do this one in purple. I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger. So let's make it like a 24 font. I'm going to click right in the middle of this box here. I'm going to say Sour Lifesavers. Those are my favorite sweet treat. Then I'm going to go down to the second question that says using the markup tool, highlight your favorite type of vacation. So over here on the left hand side, I'll go to the markup tool. This is basically like a highlighter. I'm going to choose the green and I can just say what would be my perfect vacation. I'm going to highlight what I want and then it's that green color. I can scroll down. It says using the shapes tool, draw a shape. So right over here on the left hand side, there's a shapes button. I'm going to say a triangle. I want it to be maybe a wider and we're going to make our triangle red. There we go. And the last question says using the drawing tool, draw a masterpiece. So I'm going to show you my artistic ability here. I'm going to go over here and make my brush stroke a six. And why not? We'll do pink. And we're going to do a fantastic drawing of a stick person because I have very little drawing abilities. Yay! So now I've done my incredible drawing here. I can click the select tool. That will allow me to move things if I need to. Maybe I wanted this triangle over a little bit more. Maybe I did want it centered. I could also change some of these angles. So this little select tool over here to the left allows me to do things. I could even put my little dude over here a little bit. I could change possibly maybe the size. Maybe that was a little not quite thick enough. There we go. I can go back up. Everything looks fine. I don't really like that my name wasn't quite on the line, so I can move that around. So the annotations are all movable. All I have to do now is go over to the Save button right over here. And when I click that, it's going to say, where do I want to save it? Right now, it's already being saved to my drive. That's where I opened it from. But if I click the Save Now, you saw there were 17 unsaved changes. It's saving right now. And now everything is saved. So I could go over here. I could download it now if I wanted to. Or I could even just close this right out. And when I go back to my drive and I open that file again, all of my changes are in there. So there's how you can annotate a PDF. And if you're using Google Classroom, all I'd have to do is go back into my classroom and basically if that's an assignment, just turn it in because the, the PDF that was made is already in my drive and now this goes right directly to the teacher. Easy peasy.